Yo, yo, it's Adama, and welcome to Form Art Form, a channel for fashion, style, and all the stories that go along with it. This video today is going to be about how to be fly in the workplace. A lot of folks have trouble maintaining their style and their fashion sense when they're in a more professional environment. I've done a lot of styling for my sister in particular for her nice ass job in Beverly Hills. And I think we do a really good job of picking out things that are still professional, but evoke her personal style. Now, here are a few of me. I've styled myself for my job where I work at a production company in Hollywood. So it's not super corporate, but it's still certainly professional. All right, y'all, let's get into these outfits so I can show y'all how I am workplace fly on a regular basis. So this first outfit is just a very neutral toned one. I wanted to do a few neutrals, even though my style is typically a little more loud just because I know everyone doesn't necessarily go in that direction. So in this outfit, I have on some wool brown trousers and a tan satin shirt, accompanied by these white Oxford lace-up shoes. And it is the simplest outfit, but what makes it look so fly is how everything is paired together. I cuffed the bottom of the pants there. Certainly the high waistiness of the trousers is indicative of what's trendy and going on right now. The other factor that adds to making this outfit stylish is the texture. So the wooliness of the trousers, you can definitely see and feel, and the softness of the satin paired up against it is just really, really gorgeous. And pairing two different fabrics together definitely makes the outfit stand out more than your average cotton piece. Here we are with the shoes coming up strong. and. These shoes definitely make this outfit. Again, even though they are a very standard neutral color, the cut and design on the shoe, it just really, really makes this outfit beyond one, despite the fact that it is all neutral and definitely adds to what would ordinarily be just a regular outfit and makes it very, very fly, but still appropriate for the workplace. All right, for this next fit, we're definitely getting into the style that I would typically go for. I'm no stranger to neutrals, but when it comes up against wearing a pop of color or a bright ass pattern, that's what it shall be. But of course, since we're trying to remain professional, I can't be too, too crazy. So I just have on these high-waisted pink trousers with that cute little tie in the front. And in order to neutralize it just a little bit, I have on this long-sleeved white shirt and some more so neutral shoes, although the shoes do have a pattern going on, which you will see soon. But if you really want to stand out and you're worried about being too, too loud at work, this is a great way to do it. You add just one piece that is super, super statement and you tone it down with the rest of the outfit like I did with my white shirt. And my shoes are a slightly different story because like I said, I work in the film and television industry so I can get away with a little more. But it's a really simple way of adding just that pop of style to, to your outfit. So here are the shoes. And like I said, they're still pretty neutral colored, black and white, but it's the texture of it and the check print that makes them pop a little more. Never be afraid to go for a print or a pattern shoe. That is something that I live by when it comes to being fly in the workplace. I think it's something people take for granted and they don't necessarily realize that how much personality that it can add to an outfit while still looking very professional. All right, on to the next fit. And I toned it down again for y'all. For the people who don't do the bold prints and patterns or super bright colors, I wanted y'all to know that y'all have options and you can still look really, really good. So this outfit is just a little more sexy than maybe your typical outfit, but some work environments are, are cool with that. <laughs> Mine certainly is. And what makes this outfit so stylish is certainly the cut of these trousers. They cut off right around mid calf area and are very, very form fitting, but I think that they're still pretty professional. Another thing that adds to the depth of this outfit is certainly the print of the shirt. From far away, it just looks like a plain white collared shirt, but up close you see all of this lovely paisley embroidery. These are the subtle yet very, very noticeable things that just add to an outfit. 
here we have the shoes and again this is all about texture just like the shirt and we're doubling up on texture again these grayish silver pumps are velvet actually and though they stay true to the white and gray color scheme the shine to it from the texture just really really adds to the stylishness of this fit all right so with this one we're headed back into my world of preferred fashion and although it's still pretty neutral uh the print of this blazer is freaking die for and if you notice I'm wearing the same trousers from the previous outfit and the same white shirt from the pink trousers outfit just to show you guys that you can definitely recycle pieces and make them look brand new uh, so again this is totally totally me with this printed blazer and these cute ass little shoes everything from the shoulder pads to the deep front cut of the blazer just screams super fashionable to me uh, and the pattern is just something I think that definitely works for a more professional environment it's not too too crazy but it's certainly still a standout piece it'll be one of those things that people will be like oh I like that blazer you styling ain't you <laughs> but of course keeping it more toned down and neutral all around helps to make it look like you're ready for a meeting and not just a night out on the town. These cute and comfortable little Calvin Klein heels are just what I need to finish off the look. The buckle on it just screams vintage to me, which definitely matches up with the blazer. And I feel like you don't see people in shoes like this very often, so definitely, definitely a fashionable piece. So I knew I had to throw in an all black outfit for y'all, even though it's something that I rarely do. I know it's I know it's a look that a lot of folks go for, especially when it comes to styling for more professional or corporate types of settings. So here I just have a nice black collared shirt with a black blazer layered over it. But I think what makes this outfit really pop and stand out is all of the gold details in basically every element. You have them on the front of the blazer, on the sleeve of the blazer, and definitely in these shoes. I also like that this outfit is a little more androgynous or maybe even masculine because it just shows that you can switch it up in the workplace like you can do just for street style. With this outfit, I really wanted to focus on the elements that would be eye-catching, and I knew the gold was going to be it. So every chance I got, I did something to make the gold pop. These shoes were definitely up the alley for that experiment. They are more military-esque, and the gold is just extremely, extremely bright, so it, that draws your eye to the, all the gold in the rest of the outfit. So here I wanted to throw in a casual look for y'all since a lot of workplaces allow you to wear jeans. So here is definitely a work time on top, party on the bottom situation, but still definitely could pass in various types of offices. Uh, so I'm just wearing this polo Ralph Lauren collared shirt and it has a nice little blue and white stripey pattern on it. And I paired it with these mom jeans and it's just, it's an extremely comfortable outfit that if you wanted to run to a quick meeting or like a lunch meeting, you would still look very put together and appropriate, but it isn't super, super corporate or professional. Uh, and for the shoes, I threw on these lovely, lovely flats. The clear heel kills me every time, y'all. They're just so gorgeous. They have a nice floral print, so what I'm doing to make this outfit pop is pattern mixing, actually, the floral print shoes with the stripy collared shirt. And that is it for this very casual yet work-friendly outfit. And for this final outfit, we are back with doing some heavy print and pattern mixing. Well, semi-heavy for me, anyway. Uh, but these trousers, I can't get enough of. They are definitely a staple for spring with the yellow checkered pattern going on here. Like I said, I, for the workplace, I typically like to tone it down just a bit from what it would regularly be for me. So I have on this beige top and gray blazer to help 
you know, bring everything together. Again, nothing wrong with a nice little print as long as you know how to keep it very contained and classy. But the real, real kicker for me here are these amazing shoes. These pumps are absolutely everything to me. The color of them, the fact that the heel is like cookies and cream type of color and pattern and how it offsets the the neutral brown shoe is just absolutely gorgeous. I love how they go with the trousers and they tied the entire outfit together to make for an extremely fashionable piece. All right, so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite outfit was and how you try to stay fly when in the workplace. I know it can be stifling sometimes y'all, but trust me, get as creative and as fashionable as you can. You can definitely do it. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.